Abundancism. Many people are mistaking what I offer in the foundation I present for communism or socialism. In truth, what I offer is abundancism. What is abundancism? It stems from the realization that, contrary to propaganda, our planet can provide richly for 1,000 times and more of us than presently here. Even without new technologies such as vertical farming, we produce about 125% of the food we all could consume. But, distributing by profit and not need or desire, 30 to 40 percent spoils before sale and goes to waste, leaving many hungry. There is plenty of room for many times our present numbers. As a mind experiment, we could give every human one quarter acre in Australia from newborn to on deathbed. If we each had one quarter acre in Australia, enough land to support one of us, if it's good land, there would still be some of Australia left over, and the rest of our planet. Australia is only 4% of land mass, not counting Antarctica, so it is quite clear that we have plenty of room. We presently have planned obsolescence, products made to fail so as to sell more. This creates the bulk of the waste we see. If monetary profit were removed in favor of a profit in social currencies, respect, reputation, appreciation, thanks, admiration, attention, caring, love, fame, earned fame, and not the manufactured fame we see today, bragging rights, self-satisfaction, and other such currencies accounted for in our hearts and minds, products would be made to the highest standards, lasting a very long time and waste would be at a minimum. Who would want to lose their reputation by offering subpar goods? With the removal, with free energy, of the need to account for our energy added into a money system, we all can live as richly as we choose. We can follow our bliss doing what we love to do for those social currencies. With the removal of rulers, kings and queens, governments, control minds, etc., we gain our human sovereignty. We would gain full freedom within the only true laws, the three laws of ethics which cover the things no one would say is okay to be done to them. 1. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent hurt or kill the flesh of another. 2. Do not willfully and without fully informed consent take or damage anything that does not belong to you alone. Three. Do not willfully defraud another, which can only happen without fully informed consent. With a focus on ethically solving for problems rather than passing laws and enforcing them, problems will be solved for. With an open source, decentralized web and site to report problems on, Awareness of any problem will draw the greatest number of us 
to add ideas, expertise, and energy in solving for the problems. The best way, not the cheapest or most profitable for some. With robots to do the necessary work no one wants to do, we are free to do what we do want to do. When in place, our planet will be returned to us, stolen centuries ago by the psychopaths in control now. Through trusts and deceit, the Unam Sanctum, also called Unum Sanctum, trust, and the Sestui KV trusts. We are the rightful heirs of this planet, yet we are presently slaves to the few psychopaths. Adding our energy into their system that accounts for our energy added in exchange for the slave tokens called money. In whatever form, trade, barter, work exchange, shells, beads, sticks notched and split, coins, metals, bills, or electronic bits. Money equals power, power over others, and the psychopaths amongst us will do literally anything to get and keep that power. Thus we see psychopaths in control, creating a false reality to manipulate us. We are their servants, slaves, sex toys, and sacrifices. They manufacture war to have willing soldiers and unwilling collateral damage sacrifices to their sick egos through propaganda and lies. If they were not psychopaths, they could create abundance and peace for us all, but they are psychopaths, reveling in the power to manipulate us and use us, profiting off the wars they create, and the shoddy products they sell to us. They own all the control mines, the corporations they create the illusion are our governments around the globe. We can withdraw our consent from being ruled and consent to the foundation of abundancism. Taking back our sovereignty and our planet. We can have the time to spend with the ones we love, doing things we love to do. No longer slaves for wages, doing whatever we can find to get those slave tokens. Whether we like it, are bored with it, or downright hate what we do. We can be free. But enough of us have to know we can co-create better on our planet, and so... Share awareness widely and often if you would choose to be free. If you would choose to take back what belongs to you. Share my playlist on Amaterasu Solar and Amaterasu Solar Again channels on YouTube. Love always. Humanity will win.